Today we will study classification of muscles according to its arrangement of fasciculi. There are four types parallel, oblique, pinnate, and twisted. The initial of every the P, O, P, and T. Pop T. The T is a beverage which gives us energy. So, pop T. Parallel. If the arrangement of muscles fiber are parallel, then this type is regarded under the parallel variety and it, it will be of four type. That if it extend up to some extent, then it is quadrilateral. If it will become a strap like more lengthy, then it is a strap variety. If there is intersection in between, then a strap with intersection. And if it converts into a point the before and after, this initial point and the termination point. Then it becomes fusiform. Now coming to the example quadrilateral. The example is thyrohyoid. In between the, this one is thyroid cartilage. This is hyoid, hyoid bone. In between the hyoid and thyroid cartilage, this is thyrohyoid muscle. And the muscle architecture is quadrilateral. Parallel variety. Here we can see this muscle, thyrohyoid. It has got parallel architecture and quadrilateral in shape. So, Q and T. Q, T. So, it is very cute. This is how we can memorize. And another one, a strap. The example is sternohyoid and sartorius. Sternohyoid in between the sternum and the hyoid bone. This is a sternohyoid in brown color. It is a strap like and sartorius. This one is sartorius in brown color. Anterior superior leg spine up to the medial surface of the tibia. Sartorius or tailor muscle. So a strap S and here is also SS. And another way the strap can be found around a dog neck. So this is the sternohyoid is the neck muscle. And the strap we can easily get. In the tailor saw. So, this is tailor muscle. That is sartorius. Okay. Now, strap with intersection. Here, also in the abdomen. Here is the rectus abdominis. Which is also having the parallel architecture. And very much lengthier like a strap. And along with the tendinous intersection. So, it is the example of rectus abdominis. Is the example of a strap with the intersection. Another now the last variety is fusiform when this parallel architecture in the initial point and the terminal point it get converged then take the shape of a fusiform and it has got highest range of movement this type of muscle and we all know the biceps brachii the person one who get the strong biceps can move anyone uh, with uh, all its strength. So, the example of fusiform is biceps brachii. Now, coming to the second variety, that is the oblique. Here, the muscle fibers are not parallel. They are converging here. So, and taking the shape of a triangle. So, it is triangular. And if... It is spreads throughout and takes the shape of a fan, so fan shaped. The example is triangle uh, of triangular variety is adductor longus (AL). Triangular isn't look like a slope, uh, inclined slope, uh, which which can be used as a slide for the children. So, so it's a playful environment and adductor longus (AL). All is well. There is a song. All is well. So, when we feel happy, we take a slide. So, triangular variety, adductor longus. Now, fancy example is temporalis. 
uh, when we get angry you yeah, know the uh, fingers uh, this temporalis muscle fan shaped fan shaped like this okay and we when we get angry we you know, always used to say we will give a slap over your temple area you know that's so the temporalis here is the temporal area the temporalis muscle the fan shaped just a, a mnemonic fan said this is fan shaped and explain your finger that shows angriness and when we get angry we always used to say we will give a slap over your temporal area so fan said temporalis okay now coming to pinnate variety when there is a muscular septa and the fiber uh, are going and when there is a tendinous interceptor in between the muscle so it gives a for it increases the surface area for the attachment of muscle fibrils and they are going to us one direction this then it is unipinnate and they, if they are going here they, they are converging so the directions are opposite so it is bipinnate and here is the direction like this going out then converging again diverging so this is multi pinnate along many directions and there is intervening tendina septa which takes these types into the pinnate variety okay unipinnate bipinnate multi pinnate and circumpinnate in a circumferential pattern okay now unipinnate example is flexor pollicis longus extensor digitorum longus and peroneus tertius now how we can memorize it unipinnate uni means one pinnate pinnate we can uh, only if we take only this three letter that is p e and pen so this is pen one pen if we use the pen in a right way we can get um, the higher education so flexor pollicis is stronger say the thumb is flexed and the extensor digitorum longus the digits are extended so this looks like uh, uh, like maswarasati giving blessing uh, giving blessing to us so this type of poster of hand it signifies that we have got pen we have got education we have got knowledge so uni even one pen can get this type of achievement so flexor pollicis longus and extensor digitorum longus these two flexor here the thumb is flexed pollicis means thumb flexor and extensor digitorum the digits are extended masarde poster okay now peroneus tertius pt if we have got only one pen we are very much aware where we have kept there hame pata hota hai ki hum log kahan rakhe hain pata पी ओके एक ही पेन हो अगर हम लोग के पास तो हमें पता होता है कि हम लोग कहाँ रखे हैं वी आर वेरी मच अवेयर दैट वी हैव केट वेयर वी हैव केट आवर्स द ओनली पेन ओके द बाई पीनेट अगर हम लोग के पास दो पेन हो इफ वी हैव गॉट टू पेन टू बाय मीन्स टू पेन रेक्टस फेमोरिस एग्जाम्पल इज रेक्टस फेमोरिस डैट इज किक मसल we kick uh, we don't bother uh, for our um, things if we have got too much things so this is how we can memorize kick rectus femoris is a kick muscle so we don't take care of things dorsal interossei dorsal interossei in between the metacarpal bones here the dorsal interossei um, pad we all know the palmar interossei is the uh, adductor and dorsal interossei are abductor pad and dab okay so abductor the splaying of fingers are done by dorsal interossei muscle so by this way we can't hold our pain if we have got too much pain we don't bother where we have kept so 
this signifies dorsal interossei action that the splaying of fingers, abduction of fingers, shows that we don't take care of too much things if we have got too much things. Then comes peroneus longus. Okay. Peroneus longus here it lies on the fibular aspect here in the lateral compartment of leg. This is the muscle peroneus longus and it is the everter of foot. Everter inversion is uh, towards the midline and everter away from the midline. Even this shows arrogance that we have got too much of things. So this is how we can memorize. Now come to multi pinnate muscle. Example is deltoid and subscapularis. Here is the subscapularis on the ventral aspect of the scapula and going up to the lesser tubercle of the humerus. This, these are the tendinous intersection showing its multi pinnate nature and deltoid. Here is the deltoid even. This has got intermuscular septa for the more surface attachment of the fibrils. So these are come this comes under the multi pinnate variety. Now circumpinnate. These are the tendinous interceptor and the muscle fibrils taking the direction of a circumference in the circumferential pattern. An example is tibialis anterior. T A ta 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 thaya. If we uh, dance in a, in a world fashion W H O R L world fashion, then uh, we we use word ta ta thaya. So T A ta. So how we can memorize this way? Now coming to twisted under twisted variety, the muscle fibrils are twisted. It uh, now the twisted pattern, but in the, in the twisted variety and the spiral pattern like this, the fibrils are like this and twisted. So, this is a spiral and if it is in the crisscross pattern, then it comes under the cruciate variety. Now, the example of a spiral is trapezius, latissimus dorsi, pectoralis major and the supinator. Now, how we can memorize trapezius and latissimus dorsi? These are the two superficial back muscles. This is in green color, this is trapezius and the, in brown color, this is the latissimus dorsi. If we uh, Trapezius, uh, this is a spiral, a spiral, one which is a spiral can trap anything. So one which is in the spiral pattern can trap anything. So trapezius and second one is the latissimus dorsi, the initial of these two, uh, the lat, lat and dorsi. Dorsal aspect mein agar lat mark ke gira diya jaya, to bhi wo गिर जाता है, trap हो जाता है, trapezius मैं किसी तरह से उसको पस्त कर देना है, spiral pattern में जो होता है वो trap हो गया, नहीं तो dorsal aspect में लात मार के गिरा दे, तो वो पस्त हो जाता है, फिर pectoralis major PM नरेंद्र मोदी सबको पस्त कर दिए हैं, तो उससे याद रखा जा सकता है spiral pattern, supinator जो बहुत supreme हो, वो सबको पस्त कर देगा स्पाइरल फॉर्म में ऐसे गोलना चाहना चाहे ठीक है क्रिस क्रॉस पैटर्न इसमें ये स्पाइरल ट्रैप हो रहा था ये क्रिस क्रॉस ऐसे इसमें तो सफोकेट हो जाएगा इन दोनों के बीच में मसल फिब्रिल्स के बीच में कोई फंस के सफोकेट हो सकता है इफ इफ समथिंग इंटेंगल इफ समथिंग इंटेंगल इन बिटवीन दीस फिब्रिल्स दिस विल द पर्सन विल सफोकेट सो Example is a sternocleidomastoid, SCM, succumb, okay, masseter, here the word is mass, we all know, we are very much aware of these muscles, sternocleidomastoid is the neck muscle here, it lies in sternocleidomastoid, masseter, masseter over the mandible here lies masseter muscle and the adductor magnus, in the, on the adductor aspect of the thigh, here is like the adductor magnus. So, the sternocleidomastoid succumb. Here, in this way we can memorize the cruciate pattern. The, the person will get suffocate. Okay, masseter, mass. Mass means cadaver. Even this shows the 
इंटेंगलमेंट और डेथ एडक्टर मैगनस मैगनस जो सबसे बड़ा होता है बहुत बड़ा होता है बहुत बड़ा और एड एड हो रहा हो एड तो ऐसे लोगों को जो बहुत बड़ा हो उन लोग को प्रणाम कर देना ही ठीक रहता है एड दोनों हैंड को ऐड कर दिए इन लोगों से पंगा नहीं दे सकते हैं नहीं तो इंटेंगलमेंट हो जाएगा ठीक है सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन मेमोराइज द एग्जांपल ऑफ मसल आर्किटेक्चर वैरायटी थैंक यू